heard of Jeffrey Hinton? He is known as the godfather of artificial intelligence. Back in 2012, he and some of his students created the technology that chatbots like ChatGPT and Google Bard are built on. But recently, he quit his job at Google. Do you know why? Because he is worried that these companies are reckless with their technology in AI products. He even said that he resigned so that he could freely speak out against the use or let's say misuse of AI. As the use of artificial intelligence continues to grow, the concerns related to it are also growing. One of the biggest concerns is the potential to displace human workers. A recent report by McKinsey Global Institute found that 800 million jobs could be lost worldwide due to automation by 2030. Yes, in some cases it can lead to cost savings and increased efficiency, but overall the workers might lose their jobs. Another major concern with AI is algorithm make bias. Because AI systems are only as unbiased as the data they are trained on, there is a risk that algorithms could perpetuate existing inequalities and discrimination. For example, facial recognition feature has been found to be less accurate when identifying people with darker skin tones and predictive policing algorithms have been criticized for targeting communities of color. The third and biggest concern of AI is the misuse of it for deep fake videos and cyber attacks. This could be really nefarious. As AI becomes more sophisticated, it becomes increasingly difficult to distinguish between what is real and what is fake. This has already led to instances of deep fakes being used to spread misinformation and propaganda. For example, look at this. This is actually a deep fake video. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? There are also concerns related to AI being misused for cyber attacks. The AI can be used to manipulate the system and stealing important data. But this doesn't mean that everything about AI is wrong. AI can have multiple benefits in healthcare and in science. It can also be used to diagnose patients and their treatments. AI can also be used to solve the problems of climate change and food security. Overall, it depends on how you use it. The next few years will determine the future of AI and how we are going to use it either for the benefit of mankind or to perpetuate vulnerabilities and inequalities. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, do not forget to drop in a like and subscribe to India Times.